Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem A, B, and C of educational code posted round 122, which is Div 7 uh, minority and the Childa Morrison. Okay. So the first problem is Div 7. Okay. This was a easy problem in which it is given that you can do some uh, amount of operations on a given number n. In each operation, you can exchange that particular digit of that number. You can ex exchange a digit of that number. Fine. In such the way that the resultant number is divisible by seven. So, you have to take a number which is divisible by seven by doing uh, by changing the digits of that number. Okay. So, first of all, discuss the what the logic behind this problem. Okay. That what is the logic basically. So, the, so, so the logic is that if we have a number seven, for example, n is a number. Or we have a number n. Okay, so if that number is already divisible by seven, in that case we have to just output that number. That is the answer only. But if the number is not divisible by seven, then what we have to do? In that case, what we can do is we have to first find the remainder of that number with seven. That by how much that number is not divisible by seven. So for R. So what we can do is in the first operation, we can Subtract the number. We can subtract the number by the remainder. Now it is divisible by seven. In the second case, what we can do is we can add seven minus r. Now it is divisible by divisible by seven. So how? Why? What? Let's take example of eleven. So in the case of 11, what we what we can do is that in the case of 11, when n is 11, the value of r is 11 mod 7, which is 4. So what we can do is we in the first case what we can do is we can do 11 minus 4, which is 7. Now this number divided by 7. Second, what we can do is we can do 11 plus 7 minus 4. It is 14. Both the cases the number divided by 7. So what is the optimal case? In this case, in the first case, the the uh, the given number is zero seven. So to convert eleven to zero seven, we need two operations. But in case of eleven to fourteen, we need one operation only. So we will output fourteen because we have to we have to do minimum number of operations. This is what we have to do. So we can do two operations only, n minus r or n minus n plus seven minus r. And if because what we we are doing is that we are adding seven plus four in this last digit. So if the last digit of the number means how can we find the last digit? The last digit of the number is this. So if the last digit of that number plus seven minus r is less than equal to nine means, for example, if we add seventeen plus five, so it will become twenty-two. So two digits are changing. But if we do eleven plus five, it will be sixteen only. So if the last digit is less than equal to nine. It will. It is not equal. Uh, not greater than nine because in that case seven plus five. It is. It was twelve. We can add seven minus r. In, in the other case, we can just subtract n minus r. This only. If we move towards the code part to understand this problem more uh, more clearly, that how, what I have do, uh, implemented in my code. What I have done is you can check uh, here, here only. That uh, I have. Uh, First check that if a number is divisible by seven, if yes, output n. Otherwise, I have find the mod of ten and the last digit of the number. If last digit plus seven minus x is less than nine, then we have I have outputted that. Otherwise, I have outputted n minus x. So this was the problem basically uh, of this. Uh, this was the solution of this problem. I hope you get it. If you have any doubt, you can uh, comment it down. Okay. Now let's move towards the Problem B. That what the problem B is telling us. It is a greedy problem. In this problem, you are given with a uh, binary string with the characters zero and one. Okay. So you can choose any substring of s. Basically, any substring of s. It is not subsequence. It is substring. First thing. Okay. Now, you have to remove all occurrence of the character which is in minority. For example, if there is a string, there is a substring which contains Greater number of zeros and less number of ones. So we we have to remove all the ones. 
and if it is uh, if the number of ones are greater then we can remove all the zeros and in that case when uh, both are equal then we don't have anything we don't do anything we can't do anything okay you can do this operation only once then what is the maximum number of characters that you can remove this is what it is asking so the problem is that uh, if this is a uh, if this is a string so first of all we have to output the maximum number of characters which we can remove so why should we take a sub string we can take the whole string only because we will get the maximum number of characters in, in the whole string only why no sub string kyun lenge puri string lenge na okay so we will always first consider the whole string and in that case if the number of zeros are less then we can output the number of zeros and if the number of ones are less then we can output the number of ones because that is what we are uh, uh, we are removing but in that case when number of zeros and number of ones are equal for example for example uh, let's take the example in the whiteboard okay to understand this problem what we can do is for example uh, our uh, 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 string is 11000 in this string number of ones are 2 and number of zeros are 3 so we can simply remove all the ones that is the maximum number of uh, characters we can remove but if our string is 1010 in this case number of ones is also to number of zeros is also to so we can just take a sub string whose length is one less than we can take this also we can take this also if we take this 101 we can remove this one if we take 0100 we can remove this one so in that case when number of ones are equal to number of zeros we we have to output the one minus one means and in that case when they are not equal we have to output the minimum of one and zeros this was a very uh, clear problem and uh, easy one also uh, so what i have done in the submission part you can check okay what i have done here so yeah th so this is my uh, submission you can check So what I have done, I have just checked the number of zeros and number of ones. Okay. Now what I have done is, if I, number of zeros and number of ones are not equal, then I have outputted a minimum of zero and one because that is what we are removing. Otherwise, we are outputting one less than the number of zeros or, or number of ones. Why? Because we will take a sub a, a sub string whose length is one less than the original string. In that case, the minimum number of zeros or minimum of ones are there. Okay. I hope you get it. ठीक है तो एक बार और समझ आते हैं इसको हिंदी में बिकॉज मैंने ऑफ यू टेल तो मेरी टू एक्सप्लेन दिस इन हिंदी ऑल्सो तो एक बार समझ लेते हैं और एक बार इसको ठीक है अगर मैं समझ में आया मुझे तो तो मैं क्या बोलना चाह रहा हूँ यहाँ पर दैट अगर हमारे पास uh, एक हमारे पास देखो हमें मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ चाहिए मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ कैटर में रिमूव करने हैं तो जब मैक्सिम नंबर रिमूव करें तो हमें कोई सब स्ट्रिंग क्यों नहीं हम लोग पूरी स्ट्रिंग ले लेंगे और उसमें जो भी माइनॉरिटी होगा जैसे यहाँ पर वन माइनॉरिटी वन हटा देंगे बट तब क्या होगा जब दोनों चीज़ें इक्वल होंगी माइनॉरिटी में कुछ होगा नहीं फिर फॉर एग्जांपल इस केस में क्या होगा या इस केस में क्या होगा इस केस में दोनों इक्वल है वन भी इक्वल है जीरो भी इक्वल है इस केस में सिंपली क्या करेंगे वन लेस लेंथ की समय ले लेंगे एक इसको हटा देंगे जीरो को अब जीरो पर माइनॉरिटी में हो गया या फिर इधर से ले लेंगे इस तरफ से ले लेंगे वन हटा तो अब वन माइनॉरिटी में हो गया जैसे जितने जीरोज थे उससे एक कम या जितने वन थे उससे एक कम हम लोग हटा सकते हैं अगर हम लोग एक जैसे समय ले लेंगे exactly what i have done in the code part you have checked my code okay so i hope you get it so now let's move towards the problem c so that what the problem c is telling us so in problem c what we have done is that uh, we are given with a monocorp string a computer game so we are we have given with a monster and our character so we are given with the health and attack of our character and health and attack of that monster okay now what we can do is that uh, we have some k coins uh, k coin okay by using each coin you can either increase the character's attack by w or you can increase the character's health by a so you have to use that coins optimally and you have to tell that if it is possible that monocorp's character slay or kill the dragon kill the monster okay you have to tell that so this is basically a brute force uh, problem you can check here so how it is brute force okay let's check that how it is brute force 
so what uh, we have done here is that uh, let us move towards the white bolt on the sand disk what we have done here is uh, yeah so for example the initial health of uh, character is hc and attack is bc and for a it is hm and bm we have some k coins we can increase the health by w and attack by a this is what we can do okay so we can uh, at max we can increase k into w health or we can increase k into a so if we do it brute uh, brute force wise in the brute force implementation what we can do is first of all we, we can make a loop from i is equal to 0 to i is equal to k now what we can do is that what this i is equal to 0 is representing there is a, another variable j also and this j is always equal to k minus v i now what is significant this is significant in that we are using i number of coins for increasing health and j number of coins for increasing attack means now what is happening is that our hc which was health of the character is increased by i number of coins means it is now hc plus i into w and our uh, attack is now j into a now we can check that if in this case now so uh, this is what we will do for, for so for each i and each j we can find hc and bc now how can we uh, check that for this particular i the monster is winning or not so what we are doing is that now the final health is hc and the final uh, attack is bc and the health of monster is hm and it is bm so number of attacks which are required by character to kill monster so how many number of attacks is required by character to kill monster because the health of monster is hm and the attack of character is bc so hm plus bc minus 1 because we have to find the uh, upper bound uh, for example if we uh, the uh, the health of uh, monster is means the hm is 11 for example okay and the attack of character is 5 so we need three attacks so we need three attacks basically so in that so that is why we are computing it by this means 11 plus 4 by 5 which is 3 why because if we divide just 11 by 5 then it will be 2 but after two attacks the monster will not uh, uh, will not die so we, three uh, attacks are required okay so what we can do the number of uh, attacks required for c2 means character to kill monster is this and the number of attacks required by monster to kill c is uh, basically the health of character plus attack of monster And if the num for example the value of this is nm and this is sorry this is nc means number of uh, attacks required by character and here number of attacks required by monster. So if this nc is greater than or equal to nm means monster requires less or equal number of attacks than uh, uh, means character requires less or equal number of attacks than monster because character is, is starting that battle so it will be yes means character can win otherwise it will be no so now i will i will explain this in hindi also so main kya bol raha tha ki yahan par aap ek loop chalayenge aap har ek i aur j ke liye matlab i kya hai ki aap i coins health ke liye use kar rahe hain j coins attack ke liye use kar rahe hain aap check karenge hc aur dc ko theek hai har ek i aur j ke liye ab check kaise karenge kya wo hc aur dc ke liye jeete ya nahi jeetega अब ये निकालेंगे कि उस पर्टिकुलर हेल्थ मॉन्स्टर की हेल्थ के लिए उस पर्टिकुलर अटैक के लिए उस पर्टिकुलर अटैक अटैक के लिए उसको कितना टाइम लगा कितने अटैक करने पड़ रहे हैं कैरेक्टर को मॉन्स्टर को मारने के लिए तो उसको एनसी अटैक करने पड़ेगा और सेम 
मॉन्स्टर को कितना अटैक करने पड़ रहा है उसको एनम अटैक करने पड़ रहा है कैरेक्टर को मारने के लिए अब जिसको ज्यादा अटैक करने पड़ रहे तो वो पहले मर जाएगा भाई जिसको कम अटैक हमको तुम्हें दो बार मारने में मर जा रहे हो तो मुझे तीन बार मारने में मर रहा हो तो मैं तुम्हें दो बार मार दूंगा तो मर जाओगे तीसरी बार के लिए तुम्हें मौका ही नहीं मिलेगा ना एग्जैक्टली exactly. इस तरीके से मैंने इसको यह समझ बना दिया है ठीक है तो आई होप आपको समझ में आ गया होगी लेट्स मूव टूअर्ड द कोड पार्ट मैंने इसको कैसे इंप्लीमेंट किया है सो यू कैन सेट माई कोड ऑल्सो वॉट आई हैव डन इज सो इस कोड में आप देख सकते हो कि मैंने क्या किया है यहाँ पर या I have first inputted all the uh, variables. Now I have yeah, uh, this is the easiest part actually. What I have done, I have uh, given all the coins of weight. Uh, to means I have used all the coins for increasing the health, and I have also coins to increase in the uh, increase in the uh, attack. So th that is all what I have done uh, separately, but that was not required actually. So now what I ha here I have done is. Here what I have done is I have just implemented from i to k. Now I have increased the value of x. What is the x? X is our new. X is our new at uh, health, and y is our new attack. Now I have calculated the number of N C and M N M. Means number of uh, attacks required by character, number of attacks required by monster. Now if N M is greater than N C, then yes, otherwise no. This is a very neat and clean code. I hope you get it. If you have any doubt, you can comment it down, or you can join our Telegram to ask your doubt. You can also connect me on uh, LinkedIn, Telegram, Instagram, uh, YouTube, etc. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it.